been working on trying to create a, a high modulus carbon that can go into the PVC environment. So most inflatable boards are made of PVC. And my background is composite, so we've taken a, a high modulus thermoplastic, carbon fiber reinforced plastic, and we've added polymers to it to make it friendly with the PVC. So we're able to basically put it on a board like this in terms of a stringer, and the sandwich concept brings the stiffness up about 200%. So we're really happy with what we've done so far, and uh, we look forward to incorporating it in more areas of the boards in the future. Now, can you see a board that was basically the majority of it being this material and having only this area be the compression? You see this growing at some point? Or we'll just hold on now. We'll All right. Getting there. Okay. <laughs> So you said it rolls up and it fits in a normal bag, just like a regular, I mean, it doesn't add um, any kind of size to it, or? it. The board is definitely more round than oval shaped when it's rolled, but it rolls up to very to similar size as a regular board would. It's a bit spring loaded too, like when you actually unroll it. Yeah. Yeah. And here I'll jump up and down on it because that's what, that's what you do. See? Having these things go like all the way up, almost like tombstoning on both sides, and uh, this thing's super rigid. I mean, I don't weigh all that much, but it, if you look at here, how quickly the board responds, you don't see that wobble that you see with the regular board. Yeah. Just respond right away. I'd be interested to see this in the surf too, because with that rigidity. Usually with inflatables, sometimes the roundness without the the, um, the rocker in the front sort of pulls the nose down, and then it, it almost springs up like this. The inflatables, a lot of times, you'll see the boards go like this when they start to get in the wave, because they just don't have that rigidity to be able to pop that rocker out. It's almost like a, it becomes like a vacuum that sucks it in. So it'd be really interesting to see. I bet that would really help some of the surf inflatables later hold their rocker and their rigidity. And We've been getting getting comments on this, like, uh, oh, this is the first inflatable that I'm going to have like a really good time on a downwinder with it, uh, because because of exactly what you're saying, that that ability to control the front and not have it be sucked down in uh, some of the downwinder waves. Yeah. You need that. Now, do you do you see rolling out rolling this out in all of the models, or is this uh, more just the race and? Uh, of course, we, we can add it to any of the models, and right now we're starting with the longer boards um, because you feel the most immediate response. Um, because, of course, the longer the board is, the more leverage you can put on it and the more flex it'll have immediately. So, starting with the longer boards, but definitely pushing it towards the surf shapes, towards, towards everything, because the more rigid board is going to be a higher performing board. Yeah. You know, John, one of the things that's not so obvious, I think, is a huge performance advantage, is as a, a paddler is stroking, the board is doing cycles. So, you know, if you can imagine a really flexible board, it's probably dropping a, even an inch or two with each repetitive motion. And when you stiffen that up, it basically creates a much flatter water line and a much smoother you know, push through the water. And I think it's going to be a really benefit for people that are interested in going a little faster. That looks great. I can't wait to get on one. And I, I know the pool isn't the place to do it justice, but if you'd like to hop on in the pool just to feel like a, a boot yeah. turn, uh, more than welcome, we can just go do it now. And when do you think this is going to roll out on the retail side? Um, I'd say between 6 and 12 months. Um, keep, keep your uh, ear to the ground. Awesome. Yeah. Well, we'll let you know when this gets available on the retail side, but in the meantime, um, you know, keep your eyes on Hollow. They're making some really cool stuff. It's really pushing the limits on the inflation.